we had been working with um, one of the GE divisions, the Aerospace Division, and they were going to do, build us a little small compact transaction processing operating system. And when they said, oh, we got it, it's ready to go now, it's, it's got between 2,000 and 3,000 instructions. And we said, we only allowed 4,000 for everything. And then we just said, well, that's very nice, but thank you very much. So only in the last year did we get around to worrying about what we we're going to do for an operating system. I said, well, an operating system, this is like a store and forward mm -hmm. message system. And we got to store and retrieve and forward. Yeah, it sounds like a database problem. So the problem controller stored the transaction database records, it's transaction records in the database along with everything else. And we just treated it as another, another subroutine to call. And it, it called, did it, loaded the data, selected which transaction type to use, picked the first transaction of the transaction type, loaded the program that went with it, or if it wasn't already loaded, and turn over control of it and get out of the way. So we had a our operating system, the transaction controller, is probably less than six hundred, less than. 70 instructions because they're all IDS instructions because we're storing and retrieving re mm -hmm. records and we're not looking inside of the records we'd... yes so it's just, just one more thing to store and retrieve mm -hmm. the, the other thing that came along with this because it was being done with IDS that if you had an application program that ne needed to create a new transaction in the transaction world, it's all the data descriptions there you need to store the, 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 a transaction record with all of its data. Mm -hmm. So the way we handle level structuring in the parts explosion was that we just Start the highest level doing parts explosion, and it, and it would leave a record of the next thing anything a mortar explode. And now, one example of this thing is that when we first released IDS to the GE inside customers, it. it the problem controller would say you you can have various classes of problems transaction type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5 and if there are any type 1 transactions process those first if there are none of those you process the second one next and the third one next and that worked nice but in the second year we were running warehouser lumber who were the first non-GE user, said this is very nice, but we want to shift our priority from day to night. And then shift it back the next day. So there are some transactions that are very important during the day, but because the, the results can go back to the sales office, mm -hmm. it's open. But at night, we don't, we don't worry about their, what they want back tomorrow. We want what someone else wants back tonight for shipping purposes. So Warehouser added one more field to the transaction master record that was its priority number so they, at night they could reshuffle these cards again and run it all night long and then tomorrow they shuffle it back the other way. Mm -hmm. But the ability to have a, a transaction control system that can respond to business requirements, and it took them, well, about two, probably two days' time to, to make a, what would be a fundamental change to someone's hand-coded system.